Hey everyone, I'm Scott Stokely and I am going to settle the debate once and for all as to whether or not you should throw drives with the power grip. But first, if you go to scottstokely.net, you can find these really cool disc golf shirts, Scott Stokely barbecue sauce, tour series, Marvels, Wizards, uh, uh, Lutz, Stalls, Bergs, obviously, and Tour Series Harps. Uh, also, get on my mailing list. You'll be notified of upcoming seminars and clinics and online classes. And now to the good stuff. So right off the bat, I want to uh, give a shout out to uh, two channels, which is the reason why I made this video, because there's this cool debate going on right now between Iceberg TV and Overthrow Disc Golf on the subject of the power grip. And I love it. Open forums and open debates are how we learn. Or at least it's one of the ways we get better and evolve as far as how we play our sport. It's great. I'm not going to address either of them directly with the things I disagree with. I'll just let you all know if you go to Iceberg TV or Overthrow Disc Golf, you're going to find cool stuff there. So I'll put a link to check out their channels. All I'm going to do is simply share with you the fact about the power grip. I know that sounds arrogant, right? <laughs> to call my opinion a fact. It's not arrogance. It's confident, confidence. The reason why I'm so confident isn't because of the, the tens of thousands of people I've taught at clinics or the, the book I wrote on disc golf or the YouTube videos. None of that really taught me how to teach because it's all directional information. I have my theories, I have my opinions. I give everybody the information one way. No, the reason why I'm so confident in my method of teaching now is because of thousands of private lessons. All those theories, when I was faced with thousands of people of giving me immediate feedback as to what works and what doesn't work, that's where I learned to teach. So it's not that I'm smarter than anyone else or no more than anybody else. I just have a lot of larger data size to derive my information from. So that's why I'm confident. All right, power grip. Should you throw with a power grip? And I'm gonna start by saying power grip is the worst named thing in all of disc golf. And by worst named, I mean the name power grip has screwed up millions of people. And I'll explain why, but as you all know, I never say something and then follow it up with because I said so. I always give you the theory as to why I believe what I believe, because I feel like if you understand why, then you can buy into the correct information much easier. So. Grip has nothing to do with picking the grip you want. It has nothing to do with throwing with power grip, pinch grip, fan grip, any variation in between. Grip is about three things. There are three rules you must follow when it comes to grip. Number one, you need a strong grip. Number two, you need a consistent release. And number three, you need a clean release. The reason you need a strong grip is the disc needs to stay in your hand until it's done accelerating up the line you drew and then it rips out of your hand at the last possible moment. The reason you need a consistent release is because the disc needs to come out of your hand the same every time or else you're going to get unpredictable results. That's obvious. But you also need to have a clean release because you don't want it to come out wobbling. And the fact is there will never be a universally correct grip in disc golf. Never going to happen. To achieve those three goals, there is not one grip that will work for every person. We all have different shaped hands, different length fingers, different flexibilities. Our digits even point in slightly different directions. We even have injuries that we're dealing with. It, there will never be a correct grip, period. That's why the name power grip is the worst name thing in disc golf because a lot of players, especially if you're new, when you start playing, well, it's called the power grip. You, everyone wants to throw farther. Of course, you're going to use the power grip, right? Mm -mm. You know why it's called the power grip? <laughs> the reason why it's called the power grip is because the person that named the power grip had to call it something. It could have been called the banana grip. It could have been called the, the rusty credenza grip, the John Smith grip. It could have been called anything. But the minute it got called power grip, it's implied that you throw farther that way. It's just not true. Myself, every world record I set was not with a power grip. Simon doesn't throw with a power grip. We throw with a pinch grip. 
But does that mean the pinch grip is correct? No, absolutely not. It means that the pinch grip is what makes the disc fit our hands correctly, our individual hands to get those three results. It does not mean that if you throw the pinch grip, you're gonna throw better. You have to find the grip that works for you. Now, I always wanna be clear on this one because maybe the worst advice in disc golf you're ever gonna get is when someone says, oh, just figure out whatever works for you and do that. No, that's bad advice, don't do that. There is a correct way to throw. There are right and wrong things. There are rules to follow when you throw. Physics and biomechanics trumps everything. Just not with grip. Grip is always going to be individual. So instead of doing a grip because you're supposed to do a grip, I'm gonna give you a starting place to find your grip. So right off the bat, you wanna have a strong grip. Four fingers is stronger than three. This is a three finger grip. This finger is doing nothing to grip the disc. Pinky off the disc is also a three finger grip. This is stronger than this. So in a perfect world, all things being equal, you want to grip with all four fingers. However, that could be a fan grip, pads of the fingers touching the bottom of the disc. It could be a pinch grip, which is basically a fan grip with those fingers pulled in, pads still touching, or it could be a power grip. Four fingers underneath with the fingernails touching the bottom of the disc. By the way, those are loose definitions. It could also be anywhere in between. Now, I said in a perfect world, four finger grip is better. Not for everybody. There are plenty of players out there that cannot get a clean release and a consistent release when they grip the disc with four fingers. I've worked with players that the minute they put the index finger on the disc, the pinky just comes off. I've worked with players that are so set on gripping with four fingers because some video told them they're actually holding the disc like this. No, you have permission to pull the pinky off the disc if it gives you a clean and consistent release. Those players that grip like this because they need four fingers, pop that pinky off. Hey, that looks a lot better, doesn't it? So all things being equal. Four fingers is better than three, but don't be wired to four fingers. Three fingers is okay. You need a consistent release. Well, the biggest factor in that is the disc must be tucked into your hand. It does not float around out here, especially as you're running up and pulling the disc forward. No, the disc needs to be firm and snug against your palm. That is how you're gonna get a consistent release. It's in the same place every time. And as far as what you do with your thumb, here's a great place to start. Squeeze the disc with your thumb, slide it forward until you feel the lip of the disc. What a great place to start. But that does not mean that's where your thumb should be. If you cannot get a clean release with your thumb here, but the minute you pop the thumb up like this you do, that's where your thumb goes. Grip will always be individual. There is not a correct grip in disc golf. So the answer is you have to find the grip that works for you. Go out, throw with a power grip. Throw the pinch grip, maybe even play with a fan grip, although typically a fan grip pulled in is gonna be a little stronger, but I'm not wired to that because it's individual. Play with variations. Does the pinky feel better there or does it feel better right here? Do the fingers float here or do you pull them in to squeeze the pad right below your thumb? I'm telling you, whichever grip that you throw that gives you the clean release, the consistent release, and it's popping out of your hand and flying farther, that is the correct grip for your hand. You cannot throw another grip. Your hand determines your grip, not you. So is power grip the right grip? Absolutely, it's the right grip for some percentage of people, but it is absolutely the wrong grip, grip for many other people. I hope that helps. And uh, like I said earlier, forgive it if my confidence comes across as arrogance. I don't mean that, but it's very confusing for new players when they don't know what to believe. What I'm telling you is a fact. Grip is always gonna be individual. Figure out your grip. Thanks y'all.